everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Shang-Chi from, well, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings from Marvel Comics Studios Movies. Let, let's just draw. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out for myself, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Right? From Shang-Chi? Shang from Shang-Chi. <laughs> anyway, uh, I saw it. I saw it. I, I can't speak. I am so excited. Um, I saw the movie. That's what I was trying to say. I saw the movie and it was amazing. Now, uh, let me go ahead and just say this too. I, I, I am trying to do my part and not take part in public events like movies and things like that. I went on a Tuesday morning uh, matinee show um, when nobody was in the theater kind of thing. Uh, and, and I, you know, it, I, I stayed my social distance, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, I want to support these movies. I want to, but I, I get it. It's not, it's not the time. Like, we're in a difficult time in this place, in this world, where, you know, I want to support these movies, and I, I get it. They can't all be on video on demand as much as I would rather it be that way. I know they need to make money, and... Um, I, I want to support it, so I decided to go when I could. And what I had already told myself is I'm gonna I'm gonna buy my ticket. If I don't feel safe, I'm just gonna leave. And at least my my dollars have voted and tried to support you know uh, the movie industry and that kind of thing, right? But it worked out. You know, there was only a couple other people in there, and we we all kept our distance, so. I felt safe. I felt okay with it. So, that being said, yes, I did get to go see this movie, and it was awesome. It was everything I wanted it to be, and even more, and um, it, it was beautiful. It was so, so good. So, so good. So, and, and <laughs> like, I, I have been avoiding trailers and things like that, and I guess I didn't know how to pronounce it, so I had been saying Shang, Shang-Chi. But in watching the movie, you, you, or maybe they had been saying it before, I didn't know. In watching the movie, especially, you learn that it's Shang, like Sean, but with the G, Shang, right? And there's actually a funny joke about that, but you'll get to that whenever you see the movie. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm saying it correctly. I, I feel weird after saying Shang, but also I'm from Texas, so it's, it's always gonna be old Shang, old Shang, she, you know? But I, I, I know, I should say it correctly. Shang-Chi. The problem is, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to, 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 you, you know what I mean? How, you know how, uh, um, let's say you, let, okay, I'm from Texas, you, America, right? And let's say I go to uh, London, right? We'll just pick a, someplace with an English accent. And, if I were to go and try to all of a sudden pronounce stuff the way you do, am I being polite or am I, does it sound rude, you know? And that's that's kind of what it comes down to with, with this too, is like, wait, am I being polite by trying to pronounce it correctly? Or do I sound like I, I'm trying too hard? Like I'm trying to be, uh, well, I don't want to sound rude, basically is what I'm trying to say. I, I don't want to sound rude, so I don't, want to not say it right, but I don't want to try to be like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not elitist, but, you know, just one of those people that was like, that's not how you pronounce it. You know what I mean? More than anything, I just want to be respectful of, of saying things correctly, right? So, since they said Shang in the movie, 
I'm gonna say Shang for his name. So Shang-Chi. And even that, I'm sure I'm probably saying it wrong. <laughs> but you know, it's it's a it's a different world, and it's a crazy world, and we've grown up saying things certain ways, and you know, we don't have to try to correct each other. Here, here's the example. Let me give you. Let me give you this for an example. You know, someone tells me that's not how you say something. I, I'll. I'll my perfect example is okay well trying to get them to say Los Angeles right now it's a Spanish word it's along at Los, Los Angeles sure but we've all said Los Angeles even I do right so I don't try to correct anybody but that's what I say whenever someone tries to correct me I get them to try to say that word I'm like oh, okay where's the place in California that has the initials of LA and then they smile because they know what I'm trying to get them to say is like that's right we all say things differently. There is no, you have to do it like this. So, you know, I, I want to be respectful and say it like they say it without sounding like I'm being disrespectful. Does that make sense? I think I'm gonna draw him with the ten rings. Like we, we know eventually where this is gonna go in the movies or in the in the game. Like eventually he, he's gonna get the ten rings, right? I mean, eventually, that's what it's about. So you know, no spoilers, but I'm gonna to try to draw him with the ten rings, just because I think it'd be more, much more fun. And let me try to draw his face. This is where it's gonna get tricky, because. Normally, I just draw people that look like they dressed up for Comic-Con. In other words, I don't have the time to sit here and draw the features of actors and actresses, just people wearing their costume, right? And being respectful, again, to everybody's cultures. You know, I, I don't want to draw a caricature of an Asian person. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this correctly and respectfully. What's funny is he's got a very pronounced lips. But if I were to draw those lips, it would look like I put lipstick on him. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how to what to what to highlight, what not to highlight, kind of thing. But that's enough of my of my cultural uh, ignorance. Uh, the movie was fantastic. So good. So, so good. Uh, I'm super excited about where they're going to go with the next wave of, of Marvel movies. So, I'm glad that they, they started this off with a great, great beginning. So, let's go. Let's, let's get this done. Let's get, get some awesomeness going here. Okay, I think I am ready. That's, that's good enough for me. I'll, I'll worry about his Jordans once we get there. Uh, I'm good with the, the sketch. So what I want to do is erase some of my sketch lines because the first few lines I'm throwing down on the paper, I'm just trying to get the, pos the position, the placement, and the proportions. And as I get more confident with each one of those, I start pressing harder. Because those first three lines, those first three things I draw very lightly, just trying to figure it out. So as I get more confident, I press harder. So when I lightly erase like this, those sketch lines, they disappear pretty easily. The confidence lines take more pressure. And since I'm not applying that much to erase those, what we're doing is getting rid of our sketchiness, keeping our confidence. That's how you're gonna live your life. That's how you do amazing things. You know, be there to celebrate your victories. 
Okay, I think I'm ready. I can still see where I want to go, but it's not going to show up for my Sharpie. So I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than a fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more Marvel characters, check out that playlist right there, or just check out the playlist in general. Do a search. I've drawn so many things that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. So uh, do a search and see if it's there. If not, give me a shout. I'll see what I can do. Give me a request. Drop a request, as the kids say. Right? All the kids say that. I'm trying to scroll through pictures real fast just to try to find a good picture of his face because I was talking about this uh, in the sketch that I want to try to make it look like him but also try not to make a Asian caricature right I want to try to make it look like the actor but uh, respectfully make it look like a character you know what I mean okay I think that ought to work let's try that right there okay so uh, I'm just going to start off with the top of the lids now because they're Asian they have a little bit of a different um, um, shape of the top it's a beautiful shape because it's like this this beautiful um, well you know what let's just draw why talk when I can just draw so I'm going to come in here and draw the top of the lid something like this and the other one uh, I just want to see if I can get them level perfect well, okay, not perfect, but uh, I just want to make sure I get them level, right? If you've got them looking, you want to you want to keep them the same same uh, height, or you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So now for the iris, the the color part of the eye. Oops, that one's a little a little bigger than the other one, but that's okay. That's fine with me. I'm just gonna drop in just a little bit of a pupil right there. So tiny, I can't, it's gonna bleed, so dab my little dot. You don't have to do that, I'm just explaining to you why I do. But again, because it's gonna bleed, I can only go so far with my uh, underline, so I'm just gonna kinda come back like this towards the center and um, not actually draw the line, because mine will bleed. You're welcome to draw it, Mine, mine's too tiny. So I'm just gonna let the uh, bottom of the iris kind of imply the bottom line right so let's draw his his um, eyebrows and the nice thing about the way I draw the way I always say it is I always draw like a cosplay person like I know I don't have the time within just a quick 30 minute drawing to make it look like the actual person so I'm okay with just getting close or drawing someone that might look like they they're dressed as Shang-Chi Okay, there's his nose. Now the bulb of his nose and all that, I'm gonna worry about that with color. Um, I can maybe do a little bit of the bridge like that, but that's all I wanna do because that's such a nice contour. It's not a hard edge that you would wanna draw that that line, you know? That's that's mostly what I try to do with a lot of bridges is is just draw the a little bit of definition. I'll let color take care of the rest. Now, he's got very beautiful lush lips, very defined lips. So I want to draw the top and see if I can. That'll work, that'll work. So for the bottom, I'm trying not to connect it, but I want to do like that, at least to show it's there. Because if I were to connect it, it would look like lipstick with a sharp edge like this. So I'm trying not to do that. But he has such a very defined uh, lip that I, I want to, I want to draw it because it's, 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 a, it's a great looking lip. Okay, so I'm gonna draw his jaw. And again, he's got a very defined heroic jaw. He's got some great features, this actor. I, I, I wish I remember his name right now. I should have wrote it down. Um, so I'm trying to get him right. other G. 
cheekbone over here. It's got very beautiful looking cheekbones. It's okay to say someone looks beautiful, even if you talk about a man. I mean, artistically, it's it's great. Now, if you see I'm getting thicker on some of my edges, um, when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width, so I'm trying to match where I'm about to go. But, you know, you don't, don't if you don't feel you don't wanna do that, go for, you don't have to do it. I'm just explaining to you why I draw how I draw. But like I said, when I switch over to that Sharpie, it's gonna make more sense. But just draw what you need to draw. Oops. But I am trying to capture his because he's got a very specific look like his the, his temples and man it's just he's got really beautiful features for a face and that's why I'm trying to capture as much as I can to make it look like you know his his features okay so let's draw some hair Kind of you know all parted on the side so that's why i was trying to capture the feel for a, a nice thick thick lush hairline i'm jealous i'm just jealous of his hairline really um i'm an older man mine's thinning out a little bit it happens you know there's no need to worry about hair restore or that kind of stuff you get older it happens you know um so when i see stuff like this i really really and same thing like i said with this cheekbones I really admire and appreciate features people have and, and just celebrating what's beautiful you know all right eh, that's a lot of hair but uh, that's okay you know I, I can live with that so now I'm gonna switch over to my big sharpie and find a better picture let that'll work that'll work um, so I've got him like in an action pose, right? I know you can't see, but that's that's the action pose. So let's draw his suit. And it's kind of bunged up because of the way I have him in an action pose. So it's gonna be a little more higher up because I've got his arms kind of Kind of uh, in 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 a, a a fighting stance, right? Let's see. And this one's gonna be something like that. So it's this one again, raise it up just a little bit. I don't know how, if I'm gonna put all that detail in the suit because I should probably do that with color. I'll probably do a few highlights, but all those beautiful Marvel costume lines, I'm going to do those um, with color. But like I said, see how, look, I'm already starting to do it. I just said I was going to do it with color and I'm already starting to do some. I need to stop. Um, but see how the thick, the thick and thin, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I meant by it's going to be a huge difference in line width. So let me try to match it again, just for my own my own style, that's all. That's the only reason I'm doing that. All right, this arm is in front of this one, so I'm gonna come down here and I gotta remember, I'm gonna draw the 10 rings. Just so you know, I'm drawing him wearing the rings. Um, I gotta draw his, his arm in front, then I can draw what's behind. So I'm gonna come here for the material, bend it all up because it's all bunged up in his action stance. And plus he's a very muscular, um, Powerful man. I'm gonna draw his cuff like that. And now I'm gonna draw the rings as I draw 
his arm and then I'm gonna connect him with the smaller Sharpie. Okay, so I know I wanna start here. Let's do one like this. Two, three, four, five, like that. Okay, and there's this four strange, but again, I'm following the, 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 the position of his forearm. Just kind of doing something like this. Just to, <laughs> it looks a little long. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little long. Uh, but just to try to keep the look of, of the, uh, of the material on his uh, wrists. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect it so it's not so strange looking. Yeah, I'm gonna make it a little thick at first. Just so I can connect it in the center too. Try to make it a little more 3D-ish, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Because it's not just an edge, there's also the middle edge like this, right down the middle, like that, right? And I wanted to try to give us some room to be able to do that. There we go. So a little a little warped, a little bumpy bumpy arm. But you know what? Gets the point across. Um, dynamic hand we're gonna be drawing this basically okay so just uh, follow along let's just get to it so I'm gonna draw the thumb dynamically bent like this stretched across to his finger over to the knuckle as a back uh, top knuckle I'm pointing like this when I'm trying to say this And then his other fingers, just as dramatic. And same thing, just bring the other ones and do them just the same way. And we'll add just a little bit of what we can with detail. Oops, I'm trying to see his jacket. Um, anyway, uh, a little bit of detail. Something like that, just to kind of stress, I guess. Just to kind of stress um, this kind of thing, you know. It's like how do you how do you draw all that? Well, you 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 take your time, you do it right. I've only got thirty minutes to get this done. Try to give you guys something to draw. So that's our quick and dirty. Now, now that I have that done, I can draw the rest of them because I know what's behind. So his jacket's coming up here. So his chest to his breast, coming up like this, all bunched up, um, going towards his hand. This hand is kind of on top of this one, which is gonna be in front of his forearm, in front of the bicep. So let's go ahead and just do that one next. Now this one's gonna be dynamic too. It's gonna be bent at you like that. So again, just bear with me. And then we're gonna come back and add some detail. I know it's gonna look a little strange right now. It's gonna look a little shorty short. But the best I can say is just follow me along. And then we're gonna come back and add some detail. Okay. All right, so these rings, you're gonna see foreshortened. So imagine it was like this. Well, it's closer like this, so they're gonna be like on top of each other. You're not quite gonna see everything. Um, so maybe I should do it with the detail. Let's do this, let's do this. And then we're gonna come back and add, see here's his sleeve, and then um, the bicep, all that stuff coming up here like this. Okay, does that make sense? Foreshortened, and then we're gonna add some detail 
with the smaller Sharpie. I know that's a strange line right there, but I'm just trying to add some, some uh, wrinkles that you can draw. Okay, so the thumb is bent. These, again, these you're, you're barely going to see, so I'm just going to do like this. Okay, so I'm not worried about the 3D look on that one because, like I said, you're kind of stuck with what you can see. Because of this position, position that we chose. So something like that. So see? Again, it's foreshortened, so you're only seeing so much. We'll highlight the edges like that to show that it's, it's out that way. Let me see, is it, that's one. One, two, three, four. It's supposed to be five, right? One, two, three, four. Hmm. We're just gonna say that it's five. That's all I can fit. We're, we're out of room because of the way it's positioned, but it still looks cool, right? So I'm gonna, I can, li I can live with that. I can live with that. So now we just have to draw the rest of his, his uh, costume. So it's gonna come, and he's in a wide fighting stance. So it's gonna come down here, draw his, his, uh, waist part here like this it's coming up here so we're sewn together but now I have him in a wide stance so this one's kind of going back behind his pants wide stance behind the pants let's see let's see if I can do this do a little bit of the of the detail and I guess maybe you can let's do this because I want to give you something to draw here We'll at least do this. Now, like I said, there's a lot more detail with the crisscross, all that stuff. But I think, again, I should do that with color. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of something. Something like that. Just to give you, like I said, a little bit of highlight. There's a bunch in his arms, all that fun stuff. We'll, we'll get there with color. All right, so now it's pretty much just pants. That's kind of the nice thing about his design is Jordans and pants. Um, they, I guess, you know, they'll design the costume later. For now, sorry, let me get my picture better here. For now, um, it's just what he was wearing in the shirt, right? Okay, so wide, wide fighting stance. Legs coming out here like this. Here's his knee. Here's his other leg, just so you get a, a feel for the, the, the fighting stance he's in. Coming down here to the pants, wrinkle it up towards the edge, right? Let's go back up. And wrinkle those pants up. Um, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Gonna come out here, so you get a, a feel for the stance, the position, all right, okay, now, he's, he's stretching his pants out, so I'm going to stretch out the, uh, well, that looks kind of strange, but we're going to fix that, the, the, the bend of his pants, right, because he's, he's really putting a, a, a stretch on that part of the leg, so I want to stretch out the material too. Let's go ahead and do that now before I get to the Jordans. That way I can kind of fix the like um, the the zipper here at the the not the zipper. What is that? That's the oh yeah, I guess that is the zipper, huh? I 
want to say the hem, but I guess that's not what it is. The hem is the, the edge, right? Inseam. Your inseam, that's what that is. Alright, so again, because it's stretching the material out, I just really wanted to stretch out um, or stress how much stress he's putting on his pants. going to be black anyway though so I'm not too worried about it so let me see if I can get a, a good picture of his Jordans yeah just regular old Jordans nothing too crazy so let's see what I can do here main thing I want to do is leave room for the the bottom part right That's, that's the, the main part of the Jordans, right? The, the sole that you can see going across. Okay. And so, because of that, I'm just gonna basically do the bottom line. Something like this. Now there's more to it, obviously there's you know, the, um, the tongue and, and the, all that stuff and the, the cool design, but like I said, that's mostly gonna be covered in black anyway, so I'm not too worried about all that. But I was giving you something to draw. So same thing here, we're just gonna do kind of a front defining toe. And I guess, should we give them laces? Let's go ahead and do that, might as well. No, uh, just you know the the old the old X. Again, a lot of this is gonna disappear with uh, color. That. But there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Shang Chi from Shang Chi. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.